So, happiness should improve once this is complete. By how much? I don't know, I could probably calculate it, but... I don't know, we'll, we'll find out as soon as the turn ends anyways. Also, apparently we can get a new trade route. Which we should very soon. I mean, seriously, it's, it's just a good idea. We should get it. Also, flight in five turns! Definitely something we're going to want for the, uh, the war with Belgium. Okay. Um. Ah! Yes, that means no more rebels! That one courthouse made such a big difference. Okay, I'm going to, uh, leave the riflemen there to heal for a little bit and send back the Gatlings. Although, it does occur to me we should start reinforcing this area a bit more. Gregor Yevitz. You'll get a turn once the stock exchange is done. Let's keep investing in the infrastructure. And how far along is the project? See, I don't know how much of that is actually mine. Well, let's see. It went up like 200 in the past turn, so let's count up all the cities we've got working on it. 30 from Ufa. Oh, but Ufa didn't contribute last turn, so ignore that. We've got 45 from Corinth. 20 from Boston, 30 from Nice, so those three together are almost 100, 50 from Belgrade, 50 from Novi Sad, so yeah, basically all 200 of that was us. We're, we're definitely going to be winning the World's Fair at this rate. Or the International Games. We already did the World's Fair, didn't we? We... we did already do the World's Fair, right? Ah, whatever, let's next turn! Yeah, it would look like we're the only ones contributing. I mean, I'm sure somebody else is contributing a little but we're getting, like, the lion's share of it, of the production contributed. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Those projects, they don't do, uh... Okay, good. This is over a war with Greece. Which, obviously, I am not incredibly thrilled about. But, God, it sure beats a potential invasion. Do these projects do, uh, the entirety of the city's production, or just a fraction of it? Because if it's just a fraction, we could still be in trouble. Open borders. Not with a freedom... not with a filthy freedomite like you. <clears throat> okay, yeah, I need to know. I think, I mean, the gold production project takes only like one-fourth of the city's production, I think, but this one it looks like is the entirety of the production, so... Yeah, that's good. Ushaisha has declared war on Napoleon. Soviet Union has replaced America as the ally of Ushaisha. Open borders to Simeon ended. Right, filthy freedomite. Okay! And now I think we can finally get a level 3 tenant. So what do you think? Klauswitz's legacy? 
50 turns to do as much fucking military damage as we can. But we're not at war right now. And when will we have the next turn to get it? I don't know. Well, let's see. Next policy will probably be 3,000 something and we get 170 to a turn. Which means it will take probably somewhere around 20 something turns for the next opportunity at it. Um, so we could wait another 20 something turns and hope that we're at war with someone. Or we could see if there's another happiness. Tenet, which there is, fortified borders. Or we could go for a regular policy. Well, first of all, the fortified borders, that's castle, arsenal, and military base. How many of those do we have, by the way? I don't think we have very many. Yeah, if there are none in the capital, there won't be very many elsewhere, so probably going to want to pass on that option. If I take any regular one of these, it needs to be something that provides happiness. If there's nothing of that sort available, then I guess Klauswitz's legacy? I mean, if I take Klauswitz's legacy, then we're going to need to go to war with Belgium, like, really soon. But we can't do that when the Empire is this unhappy, because it causes a very large uh, combat penalty, so... Also, I want to have planes first. I'm trying to decide how to do this. Well, do any of my cities have those military structures to give happiness? I could build them if I absolutely needed to. So there's one, two here. Boston has none. None in Craigery Abbots. Nice is also none. Novi Sad is at none. Belgrade is, of course, none. Ufa is at none. Corinth. Corinth is the only one that has anything, and it's only two, so that's maybe two possible happiness we could get. But it would open up a brand new avenue for, uh for happiness buildings. So actually, it wouldn't be that bad an idea. I'd have to wait 20, maybe 30 turns. I want to be cautious, though. You know, just rushing into something like this is foolish. And by the way, is the peace treaty still in effect? Uh, yeah, the peace treaty is still in effect. So, it would kind of be a waste to use Klauswitz's legacy so soon. So I'm going to go with the Fortified Borders, we'll get back to happiness, and then we can start building... no maintenance buildings to... provide happiness. So, Kregoyavitz... How about you build walls ahead of the zoo, and then when you're done with that, a castle? Boston. Okay, which one of these cities has the smallest production? Boston? Forget the international games, let's get some walls built. Walls, and then a castle. Most of them will, uh... 
will start building once the International Games is done with. And you... You are kind of stuck there until America gets his fat ass out of the way. I'd like to take a look at the influence for a moment here. Mm. So we're rising with France. We'll be influential, inch, influential with France in 862 turns, so never. We're influential with Russia and still rising. The Soviet Union. United Kingdom will have surpassed in 97 turns. I don't think we're going to win th via this victory. Of course, it'll get a lot easier once we take out Belgium. They've got the largest culture of everyone. Who would the runner-up be, by the way? Okay, that's... that's scary, but luckily he's falling in quite a few areas. He's falling with Serbia. The next highest looks like Romania. We're actually not very far. Uh, yeah. Yeah, since we, uh, since we took all that shit from them, they're falling in a lot of places. I mean, we have half their tourism outpost output now. We're like, we're like winning, but we we do need to increase our tourism output. So I think, first of all, what type of great work do we have the most empty slots for? Um, basically, basically art. So yeah, we should start trying to work on a great artist. Also, I'm thinking I should try putting back some of the things here in Brussels to get the theming bonuses back. We want great works from the same era in civilization. Soviet Union and classical and Soviet Union classical. Although, yeah, this is not art, it is an artifact. Soviet Union Classical. Are there any Soviet Union Classicals nearby? Hmm. Serbia Industrial and Serbia Industrial. Would that make things... Hmm. Doesn't actually make much of an effect. What do you want? Same era and same civilization. Soviet Union medieval and Soviet Union medieval. Serbia industrial. So that's 35. Uh, yeah, Serbia medieval, Serbia industrial. Hmm. Wait. From the same year and same civilization. Ah, I'm kind of ballsing this up now. Uh, you know what? Maybe I, I should uh, do most of that shuffling off camera now that I come to think of it. But um, anyways, you know what? That's probably long enough. Right? Things are actually starting to look better. We only had one round of rebels over in Corinth. I guess they were probably Greek patriots. 
And I've got my U4 thinking on. Anyways, I am Lord Ravenwork. This has been great. And... Hello? Ah. And I will see you all later. Bye!